If you're new to the video marketing game, there's a chance that your understanding of video marketing and the way you conceive of videos is overly influenced by Hollywood, by the movies you see on Saturday afternoon at the matinee. Over the years, clients have asked me to include devices from famous movies in their videos, their marketing videos. I've had people ask me for like the opening credits to Star Wars, you know, the scrolling credits in the galaxy far, far away. Uh, I've had people ask me for a CGI work, like expensive CGI work. I've had people ask me for to include lines in their scripts that have been lifted directly from famous movies. It's all a really big, big mistake. Now, I don't think clients are asking me to do, to do this because they want to rip off these movies. I think they're asking me to do it because it's what they know, right? So they're familiar with movies. They know that's the sort of the model in their head for what should be happening in their marketing videos. But what they don't know is that those devices are in those movies for one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to entertain people. But things that you see in the movie, things like character development, plot twists, the building up of tension and its ultimate release, these are things that you rarely see in effective marketing videos, at least not to the same degree that you would see them in the movies. Now, there's nothing wrong with being entertaining in your marketing videos. But what you're really trying to do is you're trying to inspire people to action. You want them to do something, to click on the button, to visit your website, to do something for you. And if entertainment is part of that, that's fine. But that's not the main thrust of most marketing videos. The truth is that what marketers do and what Hollywood does, really very, very different things. Those things that we talked about, plot twists and character development and so forth, there's a potential for them to actually get in the way of what you're trying to do, which is to inspire action. Also, in the hands of people who are not skilled at those things, you know, chances of things going wrong are pretty high. Plus, introducing these devices into your marketing videos can be really, really expensive. So CGI work is really expensive. Trained actors who are really good at what they do can be expensive. Set design, makeup design, these things all can add expense where you really don't need them. It gets in the way of what you're trying to accomplish. So unless Tom Hanks is working in your mailroom and is available to star in your next uh, video, your next marketing video, you probably want to steer away from thinking of Hollywood or, or channeling Hollywood for your next production. It's going to add expense, it's going to add risk, and it's not designed to do what you want people to do. So stop thinking of your marketing videos as Hollywood blockbusters. Rather, think of them as any other type of marketing collateral. They should introduce a problem, a solution to that problem, and a call to action that will help people start moving down the road to solving that problem. There's a lot of information for how to do that on this channel and elsewhere on the internet. So pursue those, those, those avenues and leave Hollywood for next Saturday's matinee. Be sure to leave your thoughts and your questions in the comments section below. And if you like this video, if you find it helpful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. We really appreciate it. So until next time, I'm Paul Gannon for ThoughtCast Media.